What's going on guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to do a quick video showing you guys how to upgrade both the front grille and the front logo of your Mercedes-Benz W204. All that coming right up. If you've been following me on YouTube or Instagram, you would know that this video is all about upgrading the front grille and the front logo to the newer style AMG GT style grille and mirror LED logo. This is the grille right here. This is the mirror LED logo that goes with the grille. This is the AMG GT inspired grille for the W204. Now, if you're not interested in getting a grille like this, then you could simply buy a mirrored LED star logo just like this and it will fit into your factory grill. Another important thing that I wanted to point out is that when I was looking for this grill there was a lot of confusion about which mirrored LED logo fitted into uh, this type of grill because you can buy different types of mirrored LED logos or even just different types of Mercedes-Benz logos to fit for different types of grills. Now some grills have the basic snapping and some grills have the twisting and some grills just have the pushing. Taking a look at this grill, if you have a look at the picture in the top corner here now, you'll see that it is a close up of this grill and this is the part here that it's showing. You can see why you can easily be misled to think that this may take a pushing type of logo or even a twisting logo. After I finally received the grill, I can tell you now 150, 200% that it definitely takes the factory type logo for your W204. If you have a look at this mirrored logo right here, you can see at the back, it has the typical clips on it, which then clip into the grill. As you can see, that's one, two, and three on the back here, which sit into the gaps of the grill. We'll get further into that, when I install the grill and show you guys how to remove the logo. You can definitely see where the inspiration comes from when you look at the picture in the top corner here. They definitely did a good job of incorporating the AMG GT style grill and the mirrored style LED logo into this grill so that other models like W204, E-Class, C-Class, uh, W205s, all different types of models, even the M series, ML classes, all have this type of grill which you can update. I think they did a great job taking the inspiration from the GT grill and designing it for different types of models. Without further ado, let's jump straight into removing the front grill, updating it and refitting it. Let's firstly remove your air filter duct. Now to remove these, all you have to do is pull back on them until they come past this clip here. Okay, you pull back and then release them. You have a clip here which you will need a flathead screwdriver. In my case, all I use is a trim removal tool. You'll see a clip up here, push down on it, and then you bend it down and pull out. It will slowly come out. You'll see a clip here, and there's another one at the bottom as well. Pull back on this here, pull it up, okay. And then we do the same thing. There's a clip here, we push down on the clip, and that comes out and we set it aside. We now have to remove the hoses and the wires that connect to this top radiator cover. And all you do is you pull them off and you pull them back out. There's three places where the cable connects to. One here, one here, and one there. You just pull it out, just pull them off, and then you lift this hose. This hose is connected only to two points and you'll see it. There's one there and there's one on the side here as well. You can now begin to remove your top radiator cover. Now you're going to see a twist knob right here. Horizontal locks it in and vertical removes it. So you just have to turn that vertical. At the back here, you're going to see clips. Pull it back enough to release the clip from the top radiator support bar. Okay, and then it loosens. As you can see, you do the same to the other side. Do the same thing. You pinch it so it releases from the clip and then you lift it up. And then you have this loose. And then there's two more clips, okay? There's one here, and there's one on this side as well, right there. All you have to do now is push down and 
towards the front of the car, okay, like that, and it will release. As you can see, there we go. You press down and push forwards, and it will release. There we go, okay. And then that's your top radiator support bar released. All we have to do now is release this 10 mil bolt here. All right, and put it on, give it a couple of turns. Okay, now it's loose, we can loosen it. Set that bolt aside there, we'll leave that there. Now all you have to do is release the front grill. In order to remove the front grill, if you look inside here carefully, you have one, two, three, four, five, six clips which the grill clips into. And in order to get it out, all you need to do is push forward and lift up. You also have these two hinges on either side. There's one here and there's one here as well on this side. What you need to do now is push forward and then lift up, okay? But be very gentle. You do not want to push too hard. You just need enough so it unclips, okay? Now, if you haven't done this before, it might take a little bit more, but if you have removed it before like I have, it's going to be a lot easier. Okay, so we're going to push forward and lift up. There we go. Push forward, lift up, and that's it. Look at that, that's how you remove your front grill. So if you take a look in under here, as you can see, there are slots here where the clips go in. And that's these clips here. You have these two hinges here, and they sit in this groove right here. If you have a look, you will see it. They sit in these grooves. Now I'm gonna show you how to disassemble your front grill. Now you can remove this flap here. You're going to see two, two clips, which this clips into. All you gotta do is separate one, pull it out, and that comes off. If we take a look at this, you can see that there are three clips which hold this together. There's one there, right there. There is another right there. And there's another one on the other side, right here. As you can see right there, right there as you can see right there and in order to pry this out you have to pry them out from the two clips here and all you're trying to do now is separate the grill from the clip from the logo so that these two clips can push out get a trim removal tool a plastic one so you don't damage it push it in and then you push it in like that as you can see right there what I did was I pushed on the logo while I separated the grill from the logo so that it had enough space for those clips to push through I'm going to do the same here to the other side I'm going to push my trim removal tool in there again I'm going to separate it and then push it through there we go I separated it again and I pushed it through once you have these two clips removed the logo will just slide straight out and you won't have to worry about doing that to the top one. The top two clips are much larger than the sides. So the sides is where you're going to remove the clips from and the top one will just slide out like so. That's how you remove the logo from the front grill. If you wanted to reinstall it and you had a factory grill, all you'd have to do now is line up the top two clips first. If you have a LED logo, what you want to do now is line up the top two points first, right there, as you can see. You line that up first. There we go. That's lined up perfectly. And then all you'd have to do is push it in and it will clip straight in, like so. And it clips back into place. And there you go. Okay, so now we are going to be installing the grill. First things first, you look for where your clips are. We're going to line up the clips with the appropriate hole slots so that we can clip it all together. Before we do this, I wanted to point out that this grill will come with its own support. I had trouble getting mine in and I have to say that the best way to get it in was I applied a little bit of grease and because it is plastic, you have to be very careful not to apply too much pressure to one side of the clips. So what I did was I flexed this a little bit so I bent it like, you know, I curved it so that it could fit in easier. We're going to fit this in. So we line it up so that our hinges will sit where they belong. We'll line that up. Okay, and then we'll line up this side as well. 
Okay, that's one side lined up, the other side. Okay, we just sit that in so that it's in the right place. Now we make sure we sit that in enough. Okay, so that we can get the clips in. I'm going to pull, push it back. Make sure that my clips are in the right location. There we go. One, two, three, four. All right, all clips are in. I haven't installed the LED logo yet, so I have room to push this forward and clip it into place. You will hear it clip in. Gently pull in with your fingers in here. You want to pull in and push the front bar back so that it clips into place. You will hear it. There you go, you heard that. Do the same to the other side. There we go. The middle will simply clip in as well. And make sure it's in properly and we can reinstall our 10 mil bolt to hold the, um, the grill support and that's it. Now we're going to install our star. As you can see from this star here, the clips are exactly the same as the factory one, except they are just made to look differently. All the links will be in the description below if you want to purchase this. If you have an LED star, of course, run your wire in first and then, like I said, the larger clips will always be at the top. You line that up first. There we go. And all you have to do now to install it is push it straight in and it will clip into place, just like the factory star. There we go. Perfect. Make sure it's all centered, it fits in well. Because I have an LED star, all I have to do now is route my wire and connect it. My star is connected. Okay, and look at how nice that looks, guys. That looks very nice. We will tighten down the 10 mil bolt that we undid earlier. Be sure that you double check that your hinges are in and all your clips are in flush. Another quick note, when I installed this, I noticed that the new grill support that it comes with didn't have the hole where the clip in here clips into. In order to make this right, I have removed the clip from here. You just push it straight out. And then what I'm going to do is trial fit this radiator cover onto here and line up this hole and then drill a hole straight through here to match it so that I do have a hole for the clip. Clip it all in and then make sure it's all lined up perfectly where you want it. You're going to need a drill bit. It is a size nine. So we have the drill all ready to go. This is just so that it starts it off. There we go. We just drill a hole. That's it. Now we have a hole straight through. I wanted to point out that when I drilled this hole, I forgot that it does need to be a rectangle so that once you turn the clip vertical, it can come out. As you can see, this clip pushes in and turns sideways so that it can lock into place. If you have a look at the old clip, it is a rectangle. So when she, once you push it in and turn it sideways, it would lock into place. And to remove it, you turn it vertical and then it can release. Now, if you have a perfect circle, you won't be able to take it back out and that defeats the purpose. So what you need to do is basically mimic this rectangle so that these clips can come back out like so. In order to fix that, all I did was I took another drill bit and I made kind of like a keyhole now. So now when I push it in and turn it horizontal, it locks into place. And when I switch it to vertical, I can pull it back out. Now that we've got the hole made correctly, all we have to do now is install this top radiator cover. So we push it in towards the front so that these clips on the both sides here can sit in first like that. And then we just push it back and it clips into place. Clip here uh, horizontal so it clips into place. Then next we make sure we connect our hose back. There's three places for your hood release cable. Just make sure you push them back in and that's it. We just have to reinstall our air filter ducts. Okay, you just push them in, install it back. Air filter ducts in. That's it. 
Beautiful. Just like that, we have a brand new grill, guys. Doesn't that just look amazing? Just to show you guys how I routed the cable. If you want to have a look at the video on how I connected the light up star to the fuse box and a switch, then be sure to watch that video. So all I did with the cable was I ran it underneath this radiator support bar underneath it okay you'll see a little gap just underneath this part here and then the cable comes out here and then I zip tie it to the hood release cable and I just follow it along it just comes along up here and then simply tap into the positive and negative of my LED ring lights but if I didn't have positive and negative here it would be very simple to then route it to your fuse box get your positive off your fuse box and your ground can simply be taken from this point right here that brings us to the end of the video guys if you're interested in buying something like this I'm going to leave a link in the description below where I have specifically bought my grill and my star logo from I really hope you found this video helpful and it gives you an idea of how you can upgrade both your front grill and your front logo you know there are so many to choose from so you know let me know in the comment section below what you think of this type of grill or why it is you chose the grill you chose and the type of logo you chose also I would love to hear your thoughts on why you decided to choose that grill and that logo for your particular model if you found this video helpful don't forget to smash that like button and as always don't forget to like share comment subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you're notified every time I release another video and don't forget during this pandemic always keep safe and keep your hands clean be sure to wash it for 20 seconds wash with soap if not hand sanitizer and don't forget to practice social distancing let's all be wise and stay alive and remember what's important just remember that it's not what you got it's what you got around you until next time this is Mike with Mikey's vlogs signing off